All right, guys, welcome back. Hybrid 32494 here with you once again. And right here, we got one of the cheaper uh, iOS and Android compatible OBD2 uh, car interface tools. Uh, this one I was able to pick up on Amazon. I think I paid around 12 bucks for it. It was on a lightning deal. Normally, they're around 17 bucks, but I'll put a picture right here for you of the current pricing as of today, the way I saw it. And this is basically all you get, the small little instruction manual and the actual uh, OBD connection device is uh, what it looks like right here. So what we're gonna do, we're just basically gonna connect it to our OBD2 port on this car. It's a 2004 Lincoln LS V8. It's right here under my uh, driver knee. So I'm just gonna connect it and it should, let's see where it is. All right, here we go. And you'll see the little light go on. Okay, so we see that it has a red light, um, that's good. That means that it is plugged in, the car is on. Now they do recommend that you do uh, turn the car off, but it really doesn't matter. And I've already downloaded the app they recommend you get. And the app we're gonna use is this Auto Doctor. The instructions did tell us that the best, right here for Apple devices, the most popular free apps are OBD Auto Doctor. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're basically going to uh, connect to the device itself through our settings on this iPad. You could use your iPhone, whatever you want. We'll go to our um, Wi-Fi, and it is the Wi-Fi OBD2 tool right here. Click it, and it'll connect. Hopefully, there'll be some kind of light eventually when we uh, just connect to the app. Right now it's still red because it's not actually active. So right here on the iPad. Right, and we have to use not the landscape orientation. Okay, so status. Let's see, we're gonna click right here, this little chain link, and it's actually initializing, you could tell uh, it is now having a couple lights. It's blinking and it is connecting. So connecting to vehicle. So right now I'm just showing you the whole connection process and what it should look like. It's fairly uh, quick and effortless actually. And just keep, keep an eye on the actual LED lights right there. And let's see how long this takes. Okay, so now we're connected. It's blinking, that means it's ready. And uh, we already have, this is our home screen. I have the air intake temperature, 84 degrees, and the engine coolant temperature, 224. Okay, so this is the free app. Uh, if you wanna get more information, obviously you need the, the pro version. But what we do have available is the information on a couple sensors. And I've already put in a couple right here. We have uh, engine coolant temperature, engine RPM, which is consistent. Um, as you can tell right now, we're idling at a little over uh, 600 RPM. And uh, so far, this is accurate. We're not moving, obviously. Air intake temperature, 84. And you have a lot of functions here, but um, once again, you know, they're not available in the free app. So we have a whole list here. As I'll scroll through it, it's fairly detailed, actually. A lot of this stuff is very useful. Um, probably will get it eventually. The battery voltage very important um, the reason I say that is because I recently had the battery kind of die in this car and now you know I'm just kind of starting it up again so you also have a whole bunch of uh, which is great all your basic diagnostic tools right here are free so let's see diagnostic trouble codes we got no codes which is good you don't want to have any codes um, let's see what else we got so diagnostics uh, you could check manually for issues and you could check all your uh, OBD2 sensors for when you're trying to pass inspection. Now my car right here, you could see the EVAP system isn't ready. That's because the battery was dead recently, but everything else seems fine. And uh, you got to make sure at least three of these uh, main sensors are good. The catalyst, um, the oxygen sensor, and at least one of the other ones or else you will fail the inspection. But there it is, guys. Just wanted to do a quick video 
on this. It's a fairly good, uh, you know, amount of features you can get for the price. And uh, of course, you can also get the blue driver, but that is a hundred dollar device. And of course, the app there is included and it's very comprehensive. I've done a video on that in the past, but in this case, it's not too bad actually. Let's see what else we could do. We could do a chart of your uh, engine temperature. So right now it's fairly constant. Let's go back to see one that fluctuates a lot. Let's do the RPM. So right now, which is what you expect, it's at 700. If I give some throttle, you could see it instantly goes up and it's very accurate actually. Like within, I would say within half a second of accuracy. And I am accelerating actually to, uh, to show that. Let's see try to get the tack in here so right now so as you could see as I accelerate it is very accurate so uh, something like this would be good for like some kind of data tracking if you're experiencing a misfire at a certain RPM but it looks like it's only giving us oh uh, yeah it's basically uh, not getting rid of it but there it is guys just wanted to show you uh, how you can get a really cheap scan tool and pretty much uh, usable in any vehicle. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments. I'll be more than happy to answer them and uh, give you my feedback on this device. Thanks.